Hi guys, I'm here with your Bible reading. I'm going to show you my ring first that my aunt got me. She gave it to me yesterday. She, I think she got it off my friend April. So April, if you're seeing this, I love the ring. It's a spinner ring. The gold part spins on the band. And it's a little big on me. I wear a 910. It's really big though, but I still love it. It's got the cross and Jesus on the cross right there. And then it just spins around, you know, all the way around. She said it could be like a worry stone for me. Instead of rubbing the worry stone, I could just spin my Jesus ring when I get worried and stuff. And I really like it. I really, really like it. <laughs> Like I said, it's big, really big on me. It falls right off, but I love it. I wear it, um, trying to wear it like this, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose it. So I'm thinking about getting a long chain and wearing it as a necklace. So if she, so April, if you're seeing this video, this ring is awesome. I love it. I don't know where you got these at, but I'm really glad that she got it. All right, we're just going to have a short reading today in um, Acts and our Psalm and Proverbs. Excuse me, but we're reading all of Acts chapter 6. It's just a very short chapter. And we're starting with the choosing of the seven. In those days when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenistic Jews among the among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, Excuse me. The twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, Choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. Then they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Procornus, Nicanor, Timon. Parnamius and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert of Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Now lastly for Acts chapter 6 today, Stephen is seized. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. Opposition arose, however, from members of the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Jews of Cyrene and Alexandria, as well as the provinces of Sicilia and Asia, who began to argue with Stephen. But they could not stand up against the wisdom the Spirit gave him as he spoke. Then they secretly persuaded some men to say, We have heard Stephen speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. So they stirred up the people and the elders and the teachers of the law. They seized Stephen and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They produced false witnesses who testified, This fellow never stops speaking against his holy place and against the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth would destroy this place and change the customs Moses handed down to us. All who were sitting in the Sanhedrin looked intently at Stephen, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. So what's going to happen to Stephen? We'll have to wait till tomorrow in our reading in Acts chapter 7 to see what happens with Stephen. 
I know too, but I think you're not going to say. And now, we're going to go to Psalm 126, a song of ascents. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carry seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. And that was Psalm 126, a song of ascents. And lastly, for our Bible reading today, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 16, verses 26 and 27. And Proverbs 16, 26 says, The appetite of the laborers works for them. Their hunger drives them on. And Proverbs 16, 27 says, A scoundrel plots evil. And on their lips, it is like a scorching fire. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Today has been really, really, like, lazy day for me, I guess. And sure, I was so tired today. I guess going to town yesterday to get groceries wore me out. So I just could not get woke up. It's crazy. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.